a lot of gurus have been selling the dream of dropshipping and selling that it's a no upfront capital type of business and all you need is to invest in the course and basically you'll succeed with no upfront capital and that's one of the biggest lies when it comes to dropshipping. You need a lot of capital to test products every day. Every time you're testing products, depending on the technique you're using, you're spending $10 to $50 for every product you need to test. And in order to find a winner, if you're going ahead and sort of doing everything yourself using trial and error, you're going to be needing to test up to probably 50 to 70 products. That's sort of the range of products I'm hearing from all the stories from all these gurus that found success. They've tested 50 to 70 products until they found their first winning product. You'll probably want to be spending roughly $35 per product. So that's $1,750. So I guess in order to test 50 products, you need $2,000. And that if you're sort of just going on your own, learning things as it goes by, and sort of just winging it. So you do need upfront capital, but it is sort of those low upfront capital type of businesses because getting into a business for $2,000 is insanely cheap. So, you know, dropshipping is really ideal to those people looking to get into e-commerce because you only need $2,000 to get in. So in recap, dropshipping being a no upfront capital type of business is a lie. Two, you need roughly two to $3,000 to make dropshipping work to find your first winning product. Three, you're gonna need to test roughly 50 to 70 products because that's the average amount of products until people find their first ever winner. And from there, it just gets easier and easier because you build that intuition. 